Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, before we begin today's topic, let us offer a prayer to Mother Mary. Hail Mary, beloved daughter of the Heavenly Father, I entrust my soul to your care. Please protect the life of the Lord within my soul. Do not let me lose that life through sin. Please protect my mind and will so that all my thoughts and desires may be pleasing to the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Today we will talk about, Agnes Sasagawa 2023, a great tragedy will begin to happen, everyone will be in danger. I want to share with you a wonderful message from the Virgin Mary. In this message, Mother Mary will reveal three severe challenges that humanity will soon face. We hope you enjoy this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with the latest information. Join us and listen to this video until the very end. Type Amen if you believe that the Lord always blesses you. The Virgin Mary has been informing us about current events for four centuries. She prepared the world for the 20th century four centuries ago, and since 1830, she has appeared more frequently to reveal to us heaven's plan to purify the world and save humanity. And recently, she has magnified, while also letting us know what will happen in the next three to four years. She speaks to people after the leaders of the church. Here we will discuss how, in addition to some specific revelations from each apparition, the Virgin Mary has only one main message for humanity, and how this macro message is now beginning to reveal to us the situation, not only of major issues but also of close future issues. The first time Mother appeared as Our Lady of Good Success to Mother Mariana de Jesus Torres, a Conceptionist nun in Quito, Ecuador, more than 400 years ago. To prove her credibility, she said that the same Pope who would proclaim the dogma of the Immaculate Conception would also proclaim the dogma of papal infallibility, a doctrine of faith. Pope Pius IX fulfilled the Virgin's prophecy by proclaiming the dogma of the Immaculate Conception in 1854 and papal infallibility in 1870, as defined by Vatican Council I. Additionally, on January 21, 1610, Mother Mariana was informed by Our Lady of Good Success that Satan would almost rule the world through Freemasonry at the end of the 19th century and especially at the beginning of the 20th century. She warned of major attacks against the world, holy orders, marriage as a sacrament and Christ's church on earth. She warned against corrupt priests who would scandalize the flock and harm good priests. Uncontrollable desires would trap many souls, they would tarnish women's modesty and weaken children's innocence. There would not be enough people pursuing religious and priestly vocations. Those who should speak out will remain silent. Hasn't this happened already? This will signal that my hour has come when I will wonderfully overthrow proud and curse Satan, trample him under my feet and chain him in hell's abyss, Jesus added while also saying that heaven will intervene. And Our Lady came to Fatima and warned us again, 300 years after warning us in Quito. Our Lady of Fatima prophesied that the final conflict would be between marriage and family. Specifically, through Sister Lucia, the last visions describes the greatest conflict in human history taking place when Archangel Michael fights Lucifer and expels him from heaven while shouting, who is like God, during creation. Our Lady of Miraculous Medal first appeared at Rudu back in 1830. And since then she has had unprecedented apparitions all over the world. She has increased her appearances since the beginning of the 20th century when she was entrusted by the Holy Trinity with her mission to destroy Satan and his army especially Freemasonry. These appearances must be considered as a single entity because they all convey the same main intention with different degrees of emphasis in each one. It confirms the value and effectiveness of rosary prayer, meaning of priesthood and priority placed on Eucharist, calls for fasting and prayer, and warns us about disasters that will happen if humanity does not repent. 
She also established a timeline for upcoming events that have been revealed to prophets as secrets and will be made public on days appointed by heaven. She gave Pope John Paul II a secret that Our Lady had appeared to him 18 years earlier with three keys on a gold keychain. She took the first key from the keychain, a red one, and placed it in Manuela's right hand. Furthermore, she saw what seemed like a movie in which she had a brief role before her eyes. She saw a frozen ink black hole that was hell. She only glanced at its master, Satan, in the darkness. The scene then changed to Earth. She witnessed countless attacks planned and carried out by Islamic terrorist groups in various places around the world. She saw Christians being killed like martyrs in the Middle East. And then there was the horrific persecution of Christians. In addition, she noticed a brief moment of panic and escalating chaos on Earth. Sin had triumphed because everything in hell had been completely unleashed on Earth. Civil wars were rampant in most countries. Devastating natural disasters also occurred due to man's mistreatment of God's creation. Sin made the earth shake, while fierce storms hit the globe. Something from heaven fell to earth. The world briefly visualized the size and shape of Babylon. Rulers were protected by demons or the power of mammon. Then there was a global violent uprising between 2000 and 2005. Maria foresaw an earthquake, a forest fire, and something falling from the sky. Maria gave him the second key and handed it to him. Afterward, he showed her how much Mary's children and mother's priests had sacrificed to protect not only Christ's church but also the world. He also showed her how she had protected her children. Manuela's right hand received the third key after it was removed from Mother's gold ring, causing him to see attacks on St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. The subsequent pope was forced to live in hiding. In the past, the Catholic Church, also known as Christ's Church, was unofficially, covertly, and officially persecuted. There was a church that looked like a Catholic Church, but it was not Christ's Church and it was powerless. And as a result, even the Eucharist sacrament will be endangered, as will priests who obey God's commandments. They suffer greatly. Manuela also received a message from Our Lady in 2019 that the next three years would be very difficult. Remember that the explosion was followed by the Ukrainian war. But he asserts that these three years of effort are just a prelude to an even worse situation. He was informed that the church would undergo a major trial in 2023. And that we must pray diligently. The infant Jesus also informed Manuela about the state of the church on May 25, 2023, pray for mercy to be granted to everyone. Avoid sinning when praying. I will lock up the faithful heart of the church, she is at Golgotha. However, do not worry because everything must be purified. For four centuries now, Our Lady has been communicating with people all over the world, but only recently has she begun to communicate with people clearly about the situation. And if you agree that it is now more evident than ever that Madonna's prophecies from previous times are becoming true or if you still think that message is vague and difficult to understand then let me know. That is the end of the message. Thank you for watching the video until the end. What do you think about today's topic? Please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon next to it to receive notifications when new videos are available. In conclusion, I wish you a new day full of positive energy. May God bless you. Amen.